Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 27 for learning MEMEN system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to start working with the React and uh, Django with the REST framework. We will see that how we can fetch the data from the server. We can see that how to request the data from our React.js and fetch the data from the server with that particular request. Okay, so I have divided this uh, video in a uh, few questions. So we will see these questions. Uh, how to send request from the React.js to Django? What is cross origin policy and how to solve it? How to fetch data from the Django REST framework? We mean to say Django REST framework or you can simply say the Django. What is use effect and use stack hook in React.js? Okay. So we will discuss about this uh, four things not in a fully advanced detail but we will do this we will discuss this in a basic things okay of course we will implement all the things uh, step by step in our in this whole course okay because uh, from this only this one video you will not learn everything but uh, step by step we will learn lots of things okay so <clears throat> uh, let's see this is our home page and here we have a uh, uh, popular teachers okay and i want to fetch all the teachers okay currently i want to fetch all the teachers i know that popular teachers means not all the teachers but pop but we will see that this algorithm later but let's see how to fetch the data from uh, how to fetch data of all teachers from the request of in react js and uh, fetch data from our uh, this server okay so i have started this both and you can see that here uh, both are running so these are the teacher API. If you have a, uh, this is new new for you, then you can please uh, watch from uh, video number one to seven from this uh, playlist. Then you will understand all the things. And uh, still, if you have any question, then please add in the comment section. I will try to solve. And uh, don't forget to support me uh, via. I have defined all the things here, so you can support me or uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you want to join then join the membership and like this video and share this video okay so after supporting me uh, just give me your email id i will give you the access of this uh, whole project via github okay so <clears throat> okay let's uh, enough promotion let's uh, uh, come back to our project okay <clears throat> so here we have a, a working api okay i have modified this api uh, in my 25th video okay i have uh, modified the teacher module actually according to the uh, teacher registration page that what things i need so that i have modified the teacher module okay let me overview this first of all we in the rest framework first of all we will create the model okay not in the rest framework in any uh, if you are working with any project then try to make first the database schema okay so the things will be easy for you okay so we have created the model i will make this uh, side okay so first of all we'll create the model then we will create the serializer serializer will transform your model data to json or any other response that you want okay by default it will uh, provide json after that we will show the data view according uh, show the data in the in the view and view is uh, accessible with the help of url so here you can see that when I access this uh, teacher, then it will go to teacher list as view here. It will go in the teacher list view. Uh, we can implement lots of things like this is list create API view. Okay. So we can fetch all the data or we can create the data with the, with the same class. Okay. And uh, similarly, we can do this lots of things with this class. When we will go to the teacher detail, we will discuss about this okay and if you want to understand the things then please uh, watch one to seven video okay so here we have uh, one to seven video okay and if you need code then you know that what we need to do just uh, appreciate me with any small amount that you want that you can do and i will provide the source code okay now <clears throat> we have data and now i want to fetch the data in my uh, react js so what things i need to do what steps i need to do so the first thing uh, i will discuss about the cross origin 
सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ क्रॉस ओरिजन सो क्रॉस ओरिजन मीन्स दिस इज माई डिफरेंट ओरिजन एंड दिस इज माई डिफरेंट ओरिजन बिकॉज बोथ आर रनिंग ऑन द डिफरेंट यू आर एल डिफरेंट ओरिजन ओके एंड इफ यू रिक्वेस्ट द इफ यू रिक्वेस्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ओरिजन टू डिफरेंट ओरिजन देन इट विल द ब्राउजर विल शो यू द क्रॉस ओरिजन पॉलिसी ओके आई विल शो यू दैट आई विल शो यू द एग्जैक्ट एरर दैट वट इट विल डू ओके सो लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट आई विल डू लेट मी जस्ट आई हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस जस्ट आई विल कमेंट दिस ओके एंड एक्चुअली वी आई एम कमेंटिंग दिस बट आई हैव टू अप्लाई लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स ओके सो दिस इज द सिंपल थिंग दैट वट इज क्रॉस ओरिजन इफ योर ओरिजन्स आर डिफरेंट एंड यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग और पोस्टिंग समथिंग टू द सर्वर टू द डिफरेंट ओरिजन दैन इट विल ब्राउजर विल शो द क्रॉस ओरिजन एरर ओके सो हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस सो वी हैव अ पैकेज इन जेंगो दैट इज नॉन एज अ जेंगो कोर्स हैडर ओके सो वट इट विल डू इट विल इट विल वर्क एज अ मिडल वेयर सो वेन एवर वी रिक्वेस्ट whenever we request from this origin to this origin then the middleware checks that is this origin allow for this uh, data then uh, it will send the data to that origin okay so you can learn uh, the details okay this is a simple actually this is not particularly for django but all of our uh, api okay so <coughs> sorry <coughs> now we want we need this data okay so how we will uh, fetch this data uh, from the server to this react application so i am going to perform this all of things in the popular not popular courses but popular teachers okay so let's see how we can send the request to the server and fetch the data in our application so we need actually two hooks if you are working with the functional component then we will use hooks okay so i will not go to the class component because we are not working in the class but there is something class component that if you want to study then you can just simply search class component like this and you will get to know okay so here we have a we will use two hooks use effect and use state okay so let me give you some basic idea use effect is a uh, uh, working if you let let's see uh, when we load this page then this use effect will work it means when our component is loaded when our component is updated or component is being loaded then we can work with this use effect okay and this use state will preserve the data of our variable okay preserve our data okay whenever the data is changed then it will change the it will change that variable value okay and how we will use that we will use this via axios so what is axios axios is a package which will help pull to Uh, send the http request to the server okay so this is similar you can say the jquery ajax if you know about the jquery so this is axios package and this is very nice package i am very thankful to the community of uh, django course header and this axios package uh, that uh, uh, the people the return the, those people i am very thankful to those people okay so let's use this <coughs> so what we need to do so i am in the functional component let me create some space okay so here we have i am going to create the const constant and this is some specific method we need to do teacher and this is set teacher okay so this is our variable and this is the uh, this is the keyword which will preserve data in our which will uh, change the state of data in our teacher variable okay so let me show you use a state and by default data is null so this lines means our teacher data is by default null okay and we will set our data in our in this variable okay in this uh, keyword you can say if i say specifically okay now when use effect it means what it means whenever our component is loaded updated okay whenever a component is do something then we will we 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 can do something so let let me show you so this will be console dot uh, component loaded okay so what it will do let me show you i will open the console 
so it is it is saying that component loaded okay and i file change this thing okay so it is again saying component loaded what it is saying okay so this is something uh, internal error so here you can see that again it is showing component loaded okay now so in this use effect we will send this request to the http server it means when our component is fully loaded then we will send the request axios dot get we will set the base url and what our base what our base url for api this is the base url okay and uh, here we will show the base url plus teacher okay and i'll remove this and i'll add this i like this kind of syntax okay then after that we will see uh, i'm not using this function but instead i will use arrow function okay and i want to return the list data or array data okay and this is extra and in this i will return the response and let me show you console dot response dot data so axios by default get all the data in this data uh, in this data object okay actually i am in uh, a little cold so that uh, you can see that i am making my face okay so we have let's open our f12 and here you can see that it is saying cross origin policy okay so i just want to show you that uh, if we if we not add the headers cross origin headers then this will not work properly this will say that browser say that cross origin policy now let's uncomment this from our settings okay did i told you that how we can install this course cross origin or something okay let me tell you again if i told you then please sorry and if i'll not then please see this so you just simply install pip install this okay and for the axios you can just simply install npm install axios where it is yeah so here it is okay and after installing the course header just add this course header in the installed apps in the middleware you can add this after uh, doing these two things you just need to allow the origins okay you can allow all the origins you can allow the specific origins there are uh, there are certain methods uh, here we have uh, cross allow allowed origins allowed origins regular expressions and allow origin all okay so you can read this documentation so i'm using only two kind of this uh, one is for specific origin and one is for all okay so i have uh, make this true now let's go to our application okay and here you can see that the cross origin error is gone and we have data this we have two objects okay here you can see that we have two objects and here we are fetching the data okay so i hope you understand that how we can fetch the data i'm i'm not populating the uh, data in our component but i'm only showing you that how we can fetch the data from the server how we can request the data from the server and how we can uh, post the data we didn't implement the post but i am saying you that how we can connect with the server from the, our react js okay so we need uh, we need uh, we need certain things uh, that is one is use effect that i have already explained you you can search you can uh, do self study on this okay you can use uh, you can search about the use state read about the use state you read about the axios okay and uh, see that how it work and then uh, try to code this okay <clears throat> so we have implemented all of these things if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section okay and uh, in the next video what we will do we will just create uh, we will start to create our register page okay so the first step is to teacher will register then login then upload the course and then we will show the course everywhere show the course on front end pages okay we will see that how we can uh, populate the uh, popular teachers uh, how we will do the other things okay so this is basic video 
नॉट शॉर्ट वीडियो दिस इज बेसिक वीडियो फॉर दैट हाउ वी कैन रिस्पॉन्स द डेटा ओके वन थिंग मोर दैट आई हैव फॉर गट दैट वी डिडेंट सेट द डेटा इन अवर स्टेट एक्चुअली वी कंसोल द डेटा बट डिडेंट सेट द डेटा सो वट इट विल डू जस्ट सेट दिस टीचर सेट टीचर एंड देन रिस्पॉन्स डॉट डेटा ओके डोंट फो गेट टू एड दिस ऑर्गुमेंट बिकॉज दिस इज सेंग दैट वट काइंड ऑफ रिटर्न यू वट काइंड ऑफ डेटा यू आर रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम द सर्वर रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो एंड दिस विल बी रिस्पॉन्स डॉट डेटा ओके नाउ दिस विल इफ 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 आई कंसोल दिस कंसोल दिस वेरिएबल देन इट विल शो द ऑल डेटा okay i'm the home i'm on the home page let me go to the popular teachers <coughs> so here we have a all data you can see you can see here okay so we have used use effect we have used use state we have used axios okay we have used the course adder okay so i hope you are understanding all the things please see the a uh, video from 1 to 7 so that you will understand that how we have created the how uh, what are the basic things that uh, we need to create when we are working with a django and react js okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, please like share subscribe this channel and uh, please support me whatever you can do please support me okay so thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much